Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1 with the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sötzi. Thanks for tuning in. A veteran Hungarian diplomat has been appointed president of the forthcoming session of the United Nations General Assembly. Ambassador Csaba Körösi was elected by acclamation and inducted during an official ceremony on Tuesday in New York City. Hungary's foreign affairs and trade minister said that it is a huge honor for Hungary that Kuroshi was chosen. Peter Siarto added that the UN will play an extremely important role on world developments in the future and that a Hungarian may now also exert his influence. Hungary and the Czech Republic have confirmed their commitment to the V4 or Visegrad 4, the loose alliance of Poland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia and Hungary. Hungarian President Katalin Novak met with the Czech President Milos Zeman in the Czech re- capital of Prague. The Hungarian President claimed that all four member states have a vested interest in continuing close cooperation. She added that there are many common views on issues and that they have many similarities in their histories. The talks this time centered on closer bilateral economic cooperation, the war in Ukraine and family support policies. The Hungarian government defends its position on not agreeing to a proposed European Union ban on the head of the Russian Orthodox Church, Patriarch Kirill of Moscow. Its reasoning, freedom of religion. In a letter to the Prime Minister of Luxembourg, Hungarian PM Viktor Orban said that Hungary would never support sanctions against church leaders or estrange them from their faithful. In the end, Kirill was taken off the sixth package of sanctions against Russia that was passed last week. Orban added that Hungary wants peace and that peace isn't possible without church leaders. And since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, more than 750,000 refugees from Ukraine have crossed into Hungary. Hungarian government spokesperson Alexandra Senkirai added that Hungary's position on the war hasn't changed, saying that, quote, this is not Hungary's war, but we will give any and all assistance to those arriving in Hungary. She pointed out that there are 1,600 refugee children from Ukraine currently attending school in Hungary. She said that adults are also allowed to work and are eligible for extra payouts. And that's all for now from Hungary Reports. But don't forget, you can watch the show live every night at about 11.15 p.m. Central European time. You can also catch it online and in repeats. Thanks very much for watching and Viso Natasha.